Okay, in this video we're going to go over something called quadratic functions. This is ba a basic introduction. And there's, since there's so much to talk about in terms of quadratic functions, I'm going to split this up into a couple different parts. So this is going to be part one, and we're going to deal with two questions here. What are quadratic functions, and what are some examples of quadratic functions in real life? Part two, we'll actually start talking about some of the definitions of the part of the quadratic functions, and we'll do some graphing, okay? So let's start. Um, <clears throat> what are quadratic functions? Well, quadratic functions are equations. Let me just write this down here. So quadratic functions are equations that produce are equations that produce a parabola. that produce a parabola. You probably have heard of a parabola before. Okay, now what does a parabola look like? You have many different kinds. You have parabolas, which is a graphed line that looks like this. Or it can look like this, or it can look like this, or it can look like this. Now, some of these parabolas are what we call functions. These two would be functions, and these two are not. These would be called just simply what they call relations. And I'll, I'll, we, we don't have to get into that right now because there's really so much more to talk about, right? But we'll just call these relations. And it has to do with what the definition of a function is, right? But let's just talk about parabolas. So they look something like this, okay? And so what's the big deal? Why are parabolas so important? Well, basically because of the examples of quadratic functions in real life, okay? Now, many things follow the path of a parabola. And what's really interesting about this is that, for example, if I were to toss a ball up in the air, and let me just go ahead and start using a graph here to give an illustration. I'm going to use the xy axis, and I am going to start here, and I'm going to toss a ball up in the air. What's interesting about this ball toss is that it will follow the pathway of a parabola, always. It might be a tall, skinny parabola, it might be a long, drawn-out parabola, but will always follow the pathway of a parabola. Okay, so because I know this, I will be able to predict where that ball is at any time along the x-axis. For example, this is time. So at, at second one, at second two, at second three, at second four, I'll be able to say where that parabola is. I mean, where that ball, rather, is. And because I'll be able to predict where the ball is, I have a lot of power there. I'll be able to predict, for example, how far it is, what the height of the ball will be, what the velocity of the ball, because the velocity will also tell me a little bit about the height. So there's lots of important information about this. So, But it's not only ball tosses, right? Whoops, two S's. But for example, if I were to do a, a missile projectile, my SS missile, I'll be able to say where that projectile might be. All right, so if I were to be here, let's say I'm up on the top of a, uh, of a building or a cliff, and I were to shoot a projectile, it would follow, again, the pathway of a parabola. I would be able to say how far that projectile might go, how high up it might go, what the speed I would have to do, where it was at any one particular second along the x-axis, for example. So again, lots of really important information. 
the last thing I want to cover in this very short uh, video is what does a quadratic function look like? And then we'll talk about it in the second part. So a quadratic function basically uses function notation where we replace the y with what's called f of x, okay? And the equation that it uses is a x squared plus bx plus c. And I'll just write it down here again as well. What you'll notice about this particular equation is that the highest exponent here is a 2. So all equations, all functions that have the highest exponent of 2 is called a quadratic. So the highest, or the largest really, exponent for parabolas, or quadratic, is always 2. That is also known as the degree of a quadratic. Okay, I hope that was helpful. That just gives you a little bit of information about a quadratic equation, and then in the next video I will show you what some of these different parts can tell you about how to graph it, okay?